Hey guys, what's going on? Imaginary World here, and uh, today I just wanted to show you guys how to use uh, the Redux plugin to get like the warm, fuzzy sound that you might hear on some like medicine tracks and that kind of thing. Um, when I first heard medicine, I was really inspired, and I tried to find out how to make the sound, and I knew it was like a bit reduction type thing, and I knew that Ableton had it, but I didn't really know how to use it tastefully. So I wanted to show you guys how to use it, and um, basically, it's pretty simple. So we got this pad sound. Um, so with that pad sound, to me, it's just very dry and plain, and that's why I would throw the, the redux on it. I mean, it's just a simple sine wave. So basically the redux just comes like this. It's just the bit reduction. Um, the, there's four controls, the bit reduction, the on and off for the bit reduction, and then down sample, and then hard and soft. And I'll kind of go over that in a second here. So first we'll just start with the bit reduction. This is a very aggressive way to do the effect. So if you just take this and... I don't want to go any further than that because it's going to get very messy. So I usually just keep that off, to be honest. And I go over down to the down sample. So as is, when it's set to hard, I still think that's too much. And I usually just set it to soft. And I'll find one that resonates really well. Like you basically kind of just move it around until you find like the frequencies that resonate really well. And I like how it sounds here actually. But to me, that's a little too aggressive. And then this is where I got lost because there's no dry wet knob on the Redux. It's a very, very simple little plugin. I mean, it's tiny, just this little bar and there's no dry wet. And then I was like, wait a second. Here's your dry wet knob now. So now you can just use this as a dry wet and it's super simple. I mean, you just Put it on a return track and so now you can get that sound and it's not so aggressive and it sound it sounds great and then from there I mean if you want to throw more effects on you can throw them on the return track to go after the bit reduction um, or you can throw them before it, so then they'll get sent through the bit reduction. Um, one of my favorite plugins, Valhalla Room. I'm going to throw it on before. Turn the mix down. That is how I learned how to use bit reduction. The nice thing about having it on a return track is you can t you can go from here and affect just the bit reduced signal. So you can EQ it either before or after the signal. So EQ what's coming in or what's going out. You could compress it. You could put reverb on it. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do when you're doing this and you can affect it in many different ways. But if you just wanted a simple dry wet knob, which it does not have, here it is. Send. So, I mean, this is a technique that you can use on really any effects that don't have dry, wet knobs. Um, do it here. The rule of thumb for, for return tracks is when you're putting it on, you would want it to be at 100% wet. But with the, something like this, you don't even have to do that. You just put it on a return track. And this way, I mean, if you even wanted to do something like with the drum track, like you could put the snare through it. So then you don't have to use it in multiple instances of the plugin. So there's a lot of positives to using re return tracks. There's a lot of different reasons why you should use them. But I mean, this is just an interesting way around this plugin not having a dry wet knob that I thought I would like to show you guys because for me, um, you know, this is a great tool and you can really do like a lot of stuff with it. I mean, especially with like percussion and drums, you can really.
You can get an interesting sound super quick. So I just wanted to show you guys how to do that just because, you know, by default, I think the Redux is very, very aggressive, which it is. I mean, it makes sense because of what it's doing. But for me, I like to dial it back and introduce some more of that dry signal back in. And so that's, this is how I found how to do it without using a plugin like Desimort. So if you guys have any questions, um, leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and like and subscribe. But other than that, I hope you guys learned something. Have a great day.